Hi, this is Mike Rowan. I'm uh, building a uh, winder. Here's my winder. Let's see if I get the, this thing zoomed. This camera, I'm not used to this camera. Uh, auto zoom. And I don't know. I'm going to do that zoom. I got to kind of stand back just for you to see it, but. Anyway, um, you'll see this motor here. This motor is out of a chair, but you're going to have to pull this out and put a regular oil cap in this because it's always in start mode and it won't last longer than five minutes before it overloads, but it does run indefinitely. It's got a gearbox right there. You can find these a dime a dozen out of those uh, those upholstered chairs for the living room that the feet go up and down. Any of your appliance stores throw them out regular. So I'm into appliances, so I found a lot of those. And and so now I'm downsizing different. And I built this. I built this deal here that you can. Uh, let me stand back here so I can't zoom it. But uh, yeah, I'm running this new camera. So here, let me just show you it working. We'll, uh, we'll plug it in. I don't have a switch hooked up or anything like that. So this is going to be fun, but here we go. Um, there it goes. See it winding up? And, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm working on this winder in a clutch so it doesn't if it gets stuck it don't break off and things like that so let me unplug this so you can see different coils can be can be wound uh, on it I'm trying to make it so that you can pull this rod out here right here see on the end it's just pipes inside of pipes works fine and this is this has to be, I, I just sort of uh, pressure, uh, press these on to get them to stay. And um, um, so it holds tension. I haven't decided how I want to, I want to do this. But the, uh, the main thing is, is that I can take it off, as you're seeing me do here with one hand and then take that one off and I got pipes inside of pipes to shim it you can sort of see the pipes inside of pipes right that's the idea now if I want to use this smaller one um, I'll have to get a pipe inside of a pipe put put this on there and then this goes on there too and this piece, those go right on, see, and um, I'll have to get a smaller, do a smaller shimming to, to get this guy on there. He's just a little smaller. Well, it might, it might fit. Let's see. I haven't tried them all yet, but that's the idea. Try to get, make something that's universal. See, that almost fits on there, but it doesn't. So I'll have to shim it down here and then go across here with it. So I made this I made this so you can get in there. Now the bigger ones, the bigger ones are no problem. You just um, where did I put it? Hmm. Anyway, you get the idea. Oh yeah, it's it's in this one. I got this in there. This one in there. And it's almost nearly impossible to show you anything with one hand. I'll oh, pull that out. Show you what I'm doing. There, we got that one out. One-handed. And so I'm trying to figure out a clutching system.
I can put that up on there, and it's tight. I got threads with tape on it as well. I got, and I can put these different spools on it. Right? Put put that one in there. Now oh, that one's a little smaller than the other one, so I have to change my shimming, and that doesn't go in there. See, but that's the idea. And I'm working on and bring this one, put this one on here shimmed, and then put that up to there, right? And so it, so it locks on. There's so many winders you can buy. I like this winder because uh, they're just cheap little fast things. They whee, and there it's all done. This thing goes slow. I can slow it down. It's gear driven. And it's powerful. I can wind this big dog with it. These uh, these twisted. I could use this twisted type wire. Usually people have to use a lathe to wind something like this, you know. And this will handle it. This has got some power to it. Like I said, it goes on a chair. So I welded this all up and put a little whitewash on it. And this is where I'm at. I'm trying to... Build my first decent, half decent winder that can, it can, it has some power too. And you can slow it down and have some precision winding going on there. So I got to come up with a clutching system of some kind. And I'm using these pipes inside of pipes, is what I'm using. Like this. This ain't even ready yet. I didn't even deburr it, but it's small enough, it, it's loose enough where you can, you can see, now watch, and I'll turn it on again, you can see it going around one more time, and then we'll call it a night, but you got to get rid of these, see this cap, this cap went in here, you want, if you get one of these chairs, motors, you got to take that cap out, which you don't want it always in start mode, or it won't run more than a few minutes, that's the way they made them. I often wondered why those chairs would quit. But all you need is a oil cap, a smaller one. This darn thing is about uh, 22 microfarads at 330 volts. I got, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a 5 in there from like an air conditioning fan. It works fine. But it's an oil cap. And with this in there, there's an amp, which is more suitable, which is more in line with this motor. Uh, you, you might be able to see, there's a sticker down there, you might watch that. Um, so if you want to use these gear motor to go down, there it goes, see it? See that's, it's just got like a pin in there and, and I put some grease on this where it holds it. This is a washing machine shaft piece that goes on the worm here and just put a pin in it. 